Some say that it lives forever the throat that I lose you on every time. Some say that it lives forever the throat. Some say that it lives forever the throat that I lose you on every time. Some say that it lives forever the throat. Don't live for me. I need to get the clicker to wake and close this damn case before my family gets dragged any further into it. Hello there, Saga Anderson. Hey, Pazin, name won't make the man worse. Even a Swedish name. I'm Martin. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, old guards of Asgard, my pals, the Perkele Vikings. Perkele. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Were you in the band? Minak? No, no. 
Perkelee, saatana, en ollu, en. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. Don't mind me. And now I have to start over. This is Tor's room. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? Hello. I'm Saga. Cynthia Weaver. Hi, Cynthia. I'm looking for Tor Anderson. Have you seen him? Tor. Always poking people with his hammer. Oh, dear. My lantern. I think I've lost it. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for it. She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. I shouldn't Very interrupt old. him. The government built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and their electronic cigarettes. Dinner is at five. All residents must join. Exception is
Pressburg was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. Five years, and in that time, I have never heard Norris singing. Just the humming of a certain neighbor of mine who has an inexplicable love for Finnish tango. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. That woman in the painting looks like Mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you. Like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. 
Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind plays more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind plays even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the Wellness Center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. Think Saga. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice.
Makes sense. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. is forbidden for your own safety. Time is long for those who wait, but in the end, stand the thanks. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. It's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Watch out for puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. I need bolt cutters. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Tor was here.
must be locked from the other side. security computer. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey... Desperate times. Nah.
Odin said Thor needs help. But from what? Is he turning into a Taken? Okay. I have what I need to figure out the password.
And the doors are open. Door needs a knob. to catch up with Tor. This must have been Tours.
It's 1988, a face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even. Or, changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoebox. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Rose. Um, Wake has returned. Oh my god. You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. 
I locked Torngale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic, depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor, a way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do.
page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. I already took care of all this. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Doesn't look right. Hmm. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? Hmm. 